After years of being ordered by the rich and famous in exclusive bars in exotic locations, the world has woken up to classic cocktails and the thrill of a dimly lit bar and chilled glass with a bespoke drink that is shaken, stirred, or even thrown. Famous drinks like martinis, negronis, and Manhattans are now center stage and undergoing a worldwide revival. World Class, the number one global cocktail competition, has grown every year since 2009 when it started with just 17 bartenders. This year, more than 10,000 entered and they were whittled down to the final 44, who arrived in the south of France for what was to be the most ambitious World Class so far. Staged on a specially chartered cruise liner, the bartenders faced eight challenges and two eliminations over six days of competition. Today, one of our eight finalists will win world class. But who will have impressed more than the rest? I'm Spike Marchant. And I'm Dale DeGraff. Join us on an incredible voyage around the Mediterranean to find this year's world's best bartender. World class is not the X Factor. No one sings for a start. But we do have eliminations, judges, and even a journey. Our original 44 contestants were reduced to 16, then 8. In yesterday's shock-filled elimination, we lost the UK's Gareth Evans and Sweden's popular Emil Oreng. They're not going to be moving on tomorrow. Strong contenders for the title are Monica Berg of Norway, Jeff Bell of the USA, Japan's Suyoshi Miyazaki and David Rios from Spain, along with four others. All have their eyes firmly on the prize, and tomorrow one of them will be crowned world's best bartender in a spectacular ceremony in Barcelona. Our judges are bartending legends who have created classic modern cocktails ordered in bars worldwide including the Marmalade Martini and the Cosmopolitan. Keeping them in line are Masters of Ceremonies, world-class global ambassador Spike Marchant and bartending legend Dale DeGroff. The Punch Bowl Challenge is the complete antithesis of tomorrow's barnstorming finale, Cocktails Against the Clock. Okay. Tonight, each of the eight finalists will set out their stall on deck and make a bowl of punch and their signature cocktail. I have a cocktail of the judges and I have five liters of punch, so I have a, an awful lot. Punch is one of the earliest examples of mixology. It arrived in the UK from India in 1632, when it was a brandy rather than rum-based drink. Tonight, the judges move from table to table, sampling, tasting and marking. Tomorrow is all about showmanship and speed, but tonight it's taste and time to savour. Salute. 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 Cheers, another great. The morning of the final day. The usual pre-competition banter is replaced with serious preparation and practice for the final challenge. This challenge is like a busy bar on a Saturday night. And the bartender who can get behind that bar, relax, have fun, look at these judges and give them a good time and make a great drink. That's the ticket. In this challenge, literally every second counts. The bartenders have 10 minutes to make up to eight cocktails. They can't make fewer than six. Rehearsing their performances may look strange, but could make the difference between winning and losing. Each sets up their bar just how they want it. They need to know where every bottle will be without having to look. Well, this is the most exciting one, isn't it? I mean, uh, what we ask, in, uh, apart from fact of making great cocktails, but also with speed. And uh, that's really very important as a bartender. Who, who, who wants to wait at the bar? <laughs> Judges, are you ready? Yes. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Luke. Ashton. This is the first speed challenge Luke has ever done. First Negroni I ever made four years ago was for my now wife. Measuring carefully guarantees consistent cocktails, but uses up precious seconds. David Rios from Spain is among the crowd watching. And there you have the Primavera. With just three and a half years' experience behind a bar, Luke is the least experienced bartender in the last eight.
What do you call that, anyway? It's El Bandito Jr. El Bandito is Luke's signature cocktail. This is a cut-down version. So thank you very much, and please enjoy. Look, uh, I think it went quite well. I was hoping to do eight tricks. I did six. I was really happy with what I put across the bar. So I think that uh, the judges probably enjoyed themselves. I think this round is very interesting. It really makes you have to plan ahead. But uh, it's not my uh, favorite. I'm feeling a bit anxious, but uh, this is a speed challenge, so hopefully the energy will go into the speed. <laughs> so eight gurus walk into a bar. How many get served? We'll see. The first drink I'm going to make will be a improved whiskey cocktail, a pink gin. Monica's going for a production line approach, hoping to serve all her drinks simultaneously. Any drink with a whole egg involved is called a flip. This one's going to be a rum-based coffee cocktail. Interesting choice for this round. This will be the first one. With a minute to go, Monica's production line is working well, and the drinks are all coming together. The master cleanse. Um, Come on, guys! Despite her nerves, she manages to get eight immaculate cocktails ready in time and finishes her drinks with a flourish of different citrus garnishes. Lemon, grapefruit, orange, lucky spoon, lucky spoon. I think it went really well. I managed to get all the drinks that I wanted out, and I think that I managed to give them to the right judges as well, so I'm very pleased. Monica's performance impressed everyone, including Spike and Dale. It was beautifully structured. She was technically flawless, and all of the cocktails were really impressive. Yoshi from Japan! <laughs> All the garnishes and extras for the drinks have to be prepared at the bar, taking up precious seconds. If you're Suyoshi, even chopping fruit is a job to be taken seriously. Making cocktails quickly goes against every tradition of Japanese bartending, but so far, Suyoshi is doing well. In order to hurry, he even free pours and mixes in the jigger, something he would never normally do. As time ticks away, Suyoshi is really up against it. Time's up, and he hasn't managed to finish his seventh cocktail. This is bad news for such a perfectionist. I watched him preparing, and I thought, we're going to see something wonderful. Japanese bartenders approach cocktail making as a tea ceremony kind of affair, and it just grates that you would rush this process. Here he went to a real default position, not even a variation. And that last one, I'm sorry to say, that's just too sweet. Next. Let's get down to business, people. The speed challenge hots up. Two, and we one. cruise into Barcelona for the grand finale. The winner of World Class 2013 is... 
In four hours, the bartenders will be in Barcelona. But for now, they have to finish the speed round. As the last representative of his region, Mario knows he's a winner. And tonight, he'll be named best bartender in Latin America. I'm happy just to be in first Latin America to make it to the last eight and world class. So I think that I've already done my share. And if anything else happens, it's, it's just a blessing. We're gonna be working today with a couple of classics. This is gonna be a very interesting mojito. It has some lychee juice, three quarters of an ounce, a couple of mint leaves. We're going to work a variation of a Negroni with Catawans Citroën. One ounce of Tanqueray in our last word. Let's get down to business, people. Mario's strategy is to double up, making two drinks at a time. Sidecar. Time's up, and he's managed six out of his possible eight. Mario is one of those bartenders that throughout the whole of the competition has really given us something extra. He did a couple of classics, but they were things like forgotten classics. I'm feeling great. I'm feeling bloody great. <laughs> I really wanted to make it to the last eight. It's, it's, uh, it's a dream come true. Three, two, one, go! Hello, gentlemen. Hello, lady. Now we'll go on with a really nice, beautiful dill moscamu. And then we have Margarita for you. At 25, Laura is one of the youngest finalists and has only been bartending for five years. So the first two So far, Laura has been very impressive in every round. For the French 75. However, at this level, the pressure can get to even the strongest competitors. Dropping the shaker will cost Laura valuable points. And finally, a traditional lemon peel garnish for the horse's neck. Woo, really fizzy. Despite a few setbacks, Laura turns out eight drinks in less than 10 minutes. David Rios from Spain is next. Three, two, one, go! Hello. Good morning, good afternoon. ¿Qué estamos ya? Bueno, Murilo, arranca. OK? Bueno. Estoy acostumbrado a trabajar en speed rounds y con esta forma de trabajar, entonces no me, eh, tampoco me ha dado tiempo a prepararlo previamente, entonces que eh, estoy un poco... Esta es una de las pruebas que yo no las tengo muy controladas, entonces no creo. Since the competition started, David has made himself a favorite with the judges for his relaxed, precise style and great drinks. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Despite not enjoying working quickly, David is free pouring and working fast. Like Mario from Puerto Rico, his strategy is making drinks in pairs. Finally, two gin-based cocktails. He is Spanish after all. Gimlet. Gotta have a gin in the final round. With only 30 seconds left, he has exceeded his expectations and made eight drinks in 10 minutes. And to finish, a fabulous Spanish flourish with a fan. Mr. 
Jeff Bell from the United States. My plan for the speed challenge is to create a drink for each judge based on their particular taste, or we even serve them a drink that they have created themselves. Wayno, bueno, I started off with you. Sal, I thought about going by uh, by size, but we're just we're doing Wayno bueno first, okay? <laughs> I was recently in Tokyo, and I had one of the most amazing drinks, and I actually had to inquire Jeff about has done intensive research for every round. 20 mils of lemon. However, he failed to impress in the Saint-Tropez market challenge, but since then has got stronger and stronger. Oh, thank you. 45. Thank you, Ray. Steve, do you like Grand Marnier? I do. Good. How did you know? Do you like Sherry? I do. Oh, my goodness. Oh, really? I've heard you like... Uh, you get got them all together? You know, I think this is just kind of heaven in a handbasket for you. <laughs> I think U.S. bartending is probably the most efficient in the world. In the United States, people are kind of impatient, and they want the drink right away. So you have to be fast, because they'll just leave the bar if the drinks don't come fast enough. They won't pay. Having a drink together is great. Having it at the same time is perfect. So, here we are. Like Monica, Jeff's strategy is to serve all eight drinks at the same time. High risk. Right. We're almost there, guys. But he's confident he'll do it. Julie, I wanted to bring you some flowers, but I couldn't keep them fresh, so I'm just going to give you mint. <laughs> Three, two, one! Well, Jeff is used to high pressure, high intensity. It, it was a magnificent yeah. performance. Yeah. We did it again. He really showed his experience and his ability to handle crowds and to be the entertaining bartender, even when he's under a lot of pressure, talking to every judge. Hey, have I got a drink for you, specifically for you. <laughs> you know, it was really a lovely touch. I worked extremely hard on every single bit of this, and I really want to win. <laughs> I would be, uh, I'd be lying if I said, to, said I didn't. And in case all that has made you think you'd like a Manhattan, here's Judge Julie to show you how to make a perfect one. Today I'm going to make for you one of the most famous classic cocktails of all time, the Manhattan. The Manhattan was popularized in the 1860s in New York City when vermouth was brought over from Europe to the United States, and American bartenders mixed it with their favorite spirit, bourbon. We're gonna start out with two ounces of bourbon right into our mixing glass. And follow that up with three quarters of an ounce of sweet vermouth. You wanna make sure to refrigerate this at home because it will go bad. And then just to tie everything together, two dashes of Angostura bitters. And now we are ready to stir up our Manhattan. Now as a rule, any cocktail that is just spirits, you want to stir. Give that a nice stir. I like to make the ice just above the level of where my liquid is. You got to get the perfect amount of dilution. The water is one of the most important ingredients in a cocktail like this. All right, I think we're there. So now we're ready to strain our drink. Beautiful. And today I'm gonna garnish that with a fresh cherry. And there you have it, the Manhattan. Cheers. Barcelona, Spanish Catalan capital and host city for the grand finale of World Class 2013. Tonight, the ceremony is being staged at La Monumental, a famous former bullring in the city center. For all eight finalists, tonight is the culmination of years of work months of preparation and a week of relentless competition. As is tradition, at world class, drummers begin the ceremony. This time, 28 Catalan drummers bring on all 44 contestants. This event is one of the highlights of the year for the drinks industry. Judge Spike Marchant will MC the show. To begin the awards, the winners of the four global regions are announced. First, Asia Pacific, which will be presented by Siroc Supremo Jean Sebastien Robiquet. Monsieur Jean Sebastien Robiquet. Suyoshi Miyazaki. 
Now, Suyoshi Miyazaki has definitely got something to smile about. Lorena Vasquez! Spain! David Rios! David Rios from Spain collects the Western Europe Award from legendary Zacapa distiller Lorena Vasquez. Head judge Dale DeGroff announces the Latin American Award, which goes to Mario Sejo Rivera from Puerto Rico. Jeff Bell, USA. Kettle One's Bob Nolet presents Jeff Bell with the Rest of the World Award. These four are the best bartenders in the world, and in seconds, one of them will be crowned World Class Bartender of the Year. Please welcome the man who was himself wishing and hoping, praying and dreaming this time last year, Tim Phillips. Who better to present this year's prize than last year's winner? Class 2013 is David Rios! Thanks a lot to all my friends. Muchísimas gracias a todo el mundo. Thank you very much. Alpa Verango. To learn more about bartending and the world's finest drinking experiences, go to our definitive drinking guide online.